What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Chef Don Don. Listen, Don Don, I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful, fantastic day so far. Listen, we got to get into this. Anita Long and Boston, uh, Boston Celtics coach, Mr. Ime Uduka. We got to get into everything regarding them. We're also going to get into everything that's surrounding them and my thoughts in regards to this. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. But before we get into everything, y'all already know what to do. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure that you hit that like button down below. And in the comment section, I need you guys to go off on what you think as well. Please follow me on all social media platforms. Join Patreon. It's only $3 to join. If you'd like to bless the channel, you can be a cash app at Chef Don Don 2 or be a Venmo. And Chef Don Don too as well. But baby, let's get into all of this. Well, listen, listen, listen. Again, make sure you hit that like button and make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any time that we go live or that we bring any type of videos or any tea to your channel. Okay, so let's get into this whole Nia Long and uh, I Met Uduka story. Listen, listen, listen. If you do not know, if you do not know, if you do not know, you child, you've been hiding on the rock. You've been hiding on the rock a couple of days ago. We found out that this man was cheating on me alone, y'all. Me alone out of all people. Now, listen, I have seen the internet going ablaze talking about if Beyonce can be cheated on, if all of these other celebrities can be cheated on, Nia Long can be cheated on. But here's the problem that I have with that before we get into it. Y'all stop making it okay because it's not okay. We make cheating and side chicks and all of that stuff the normal now. And I'm not sure I understand why. Like, there are families at stake, and I'm looking all through social media, and everybody is saying, well, if Beyonce can be cheated on, me alone is no different and all of this and all of that. It does not make anything that this man is doing right, okay? Yeah, we can call it out, and we can say men cheat, we can say women cheat, we can say all of that stuff, right? But it doesn't make it right. And I'm not sure I understand why we're defending, um, we're defending wrong here. We're defending wrong. Like, it's not okay for anyone to be cheated on and for us to make light, or the, not us in general, Dom Dimes. I'm just saying, for the internet to make light about this, it, to me, it's, it's in poor taste. It's in poor taste for anyone to think that. I mean, when we have someone who we think is going to be our soulmate, I mean, they have children together and everything. Like, it's, it's just not okay to do so. Okay, listen. Neil Long's fiance, Ime Eduka, faces season-long suspension following reports he engaged in an intimate and consensual relationship with a Celtics staffer. Listen, I understand again that this stuff goes on all the time, but again, it doesn't make it okay. And uh, that's what I'm seeing on the internet. What I'm seeing on the internet, we making it okay. Anyway, let's get into this. So it says the Celtics head coach and Neil Long's fiance is facing a suspension after reportedly engaging in an intimate and consensual relationship with a female Celtics staffer. According to the ESPN sources, Saduka uh, could potentially be suspended for the 2022 and 2023 NBA season. And it appears that the team has ruled out termination. So they are not going to fire him. But... Listen, the alleged affair violates the Celtics Code of Conduct. Ime Aduke has been dating actress Nia Long since 2010, child, and in 2011, the couple welcomed a son and announced their engagement in 2015. Nia Long shared a video of herself dancing in celebration when the Boston Celtics advanced to the NBA Finals this past May. There is speculation over whether or not the couple was together during the alleged affair. Oh, child, that is a lot. That is a lot. Now, that was the first thing, right? 
but it just seemed like it was never ending. Never ending. That was the first thing, right, guys? But then let's get into something else here really quick. It looks like Cha. Unfortunately, and I want to give a shout out to the Jasmine brand for that clip that I um, just used from the Jasmine brand's Instagram. Please make sure you're following the Jasmine brand's Instagram. And shout out to the Neighborhood Talk for this particular article here. Shout out to the Neighborhood Talk and Kyle over there. Congratulations to you, ma'am. The Boston Celtics have decided to, to, to suspend Ame Iduko for the entire 2022 and 2023 season for having an improper, intimate, and consensual relationship with a female member of the team staff. Yeah, I mean, I saw this particular piece coming. I saw this coming, right? I saw this coming, and y'all have to let me know. I mean, I mean, you violated the code of conduct for the team, so I mean, I can understand why you are getting so much backlash when it comes to this particular situation. So that's something that I wanted to talk about, but I also wanted to talk about what Mr. Matt Burns had to say about this. Then we're going to get into Neil Long breaking her silence. Now, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that there was an, uh, an apology that was issued in regards to this particular situation. So I am going to uh, make sure that we get that uh, apology um, read over here on the channel as well because for me, the apology just wasn't enough for the fam bound for me. Okay? And that's just me yet again. Um, so this is his statement. Um, and his statement reads, I want to apologize to our players and fans. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Um... All right, let me get back into this apology. So the apology says, I want to apologize to our players, fans, and the entire Celtics organization and my family for letting them down. I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation and I accept the team's decision. Out of respect for everyone involved, I will have no further comment. Now, y'all, The, the, what I'm hearing here, that people are like, he didn't even do anything. Relationships don't always work. And he possibly needs to move on. Like, the internet is making this okay. And this is a problem. This is a problem. When the internet makes stuff like this okay, it's a problem. Because it's not just the internet. It's everybody wanting to make this whole allegation, um, like... I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like really, really weird to me. But hey, listen, I just know for a fact that we just can't make this okay. All right. We just can't make this okay. Please, please, please make sure you hit that like button. Please, please, please make sure you hit that like button. Um, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Well, what I wanted to do was to get into Mr. Matt Burns. Um, Matt Burns' um, statement in regards to what he had to say um, when Mr. Uh, Ahmed Udako was suspended. So let's take a look at what Mr. Matt Burns had to say about this situation. Let's get into it. Shout out to the Shade Room for this commentary guys about this but i'm off until next week but i definitely want to touch on this email you dope situation just saw the year a year suspension was just handed down by the team for an inappropriate consensual sexual situation with a female that worked in the organization i've been in the league for a lot played in the league for a long time anyone who played in the league could tell you this is a very common situation this is not new news for people who've been in the league or even around organizations. I've seen it from owners to executives, to coaches, to players, to trainers, to therapists, to dancers, to PR ladies. Like, this is not uncommon. 
And to just bring some context to it, the NBA just suspended Sarver for all the shit he did, and he got a year too. So you're trying to tell me what Robert Sarver did? I'll be chopping it up on ESPN with you guys about this, but I'm off until next week. And Udoka did, or even on the same level, even on in the same book, yet they warranted the same amount of time. This is a bad look, man. The Celtics, whoever made this this decision, it was a terrible decision. You want to suspend a man 15, 20, 25 games, but a whole season for a consensual situation that not only happens in the NBA, but happens in every single workplace. This was a terrible call, man. And Udoka did, or even on the same level, even on in the same book. All right, all right, all right. So I wanted you guys to hear that. I wanted you guys to hear what um, what he had to say, what Matt had to say in regards to that. You know, he felt like the the that the consequence that um, Ame is going to have to face. He felt like it was too much. He felt like it was definitely too much um, in regards to this. But this is another thing where I kind of feel like also too. We condone these particular behaviors when, when they're not held accountable. I mean, he, he broke the, the code of conduct. So, I mean, I, I don't know what to I don't I don't know what to think there when it comes to that particular situation. Now, I want to get into something else, y'all. Oh my goodness! So it seems as if this is an ongoing situation that will. I mean, we just didn't have all the facts for. We did not have all the facts for this particular situation. So let's get into this from the neighborhood talk. Shaking my head, Neil Long claims Ame Duque knew about the scandal months before telling her. Said she just moved to Boston with her son two weeks ago. Ooh, child, when, I, when, when they said that I clutched my pearl. Uh, neighbors, get into this. Neil Long is in a disarray after learning about the scandal involving her fiance, Ame Eduke, and an inappropriate relationship with a female staff member on the Celtics team. According to TMZ, Nia knew nothing about the affair and didn't find out until a few days before the world did. Ooh. Ooh. Sources close to Nia and the situation say that Nia and the couple's 10-year-old son, Kez, moved to Boston just two weeks for well, Nia and the couple's son, a 10-year-old son, Kez, moved to Boston just two weeks ago to settle down. They were looking in, at, a, at houses as a family and plan to push their relationship forward. But unbeknownst to Nia, Ame knew about this scandal and was about to go public. He knew that the scandal was about to go public, but didn't warn Nia about it. Apparently, Ame was aware that the organization would be launching an investigation into the relationship way back in July, baby, in September. Ooh, this is messy. This is messy. This is messy. But he never mentioned this to Nia once prior to her moving to Boston. The source claims that he only told Nia a few days before it made the news because he knew it was coming out. Nia tells TMZ through her rep, Shannon Barr, the outpouring of love support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I uh, process the recent events above all. I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. Listen, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is messy. Man, you knew about this? You knew about this? And see, this is why I always say sometimes we kind of speak too fast and I felt like everybody was defending this man before they knew what was really going on. Like, y'all was making it seem like it was okay to cheat. Like, it's just normal to cheat and just to stay in the cheating relationship and move on. Like, everybody don't tolerate that. Everybody don't tolerate that. I already told y'all, the Don Don's, no, baby. You cheat on me, you can go. Okay? Let me on me. Bye. 
some people can deal with it. You know what I mean? And for the sake of, of the children, I do hope that they can get to some solid ground and be able to work things out. Because when you do have children, the thought of protecting your children and different things like that come into play. And I totally understand that. I totally, totally understand that. I just pray that um, everyone in this particular situation gets the help and prayers that they need to make it through because this type of stuff isn't easy, right? And then them being in the limelight and, and Nia Long being who Nia Long is and then him being the coach for the Boston Celtics. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's, it's a lot to take in. Okay, so what I wanted to do, I wanted to get into one more thing, which is the apology that... Um, it's the apology that Matt Burns actually... Um, placed today um, because he he made mention as we saw just recently he made mention that uh, that he thought that the whoever made the decision to suspend him for the entire season was very wrong so I wanted to get into his apology you know I feel like if I do go ahead and show what he said it wouldn't be right for me not to show his apology so let's get into his apology, y'all, really, really quick. And again, y'all make sure you like this video. Drop down in the comment section and let me know what you think. Like, please, please, please. All right, let's check out his response. So last night I spoke on this uh, Ime Udoka situation um, without having all the facts. And I think as a part of the media, often the media speaks to something and when they're wrong, they won't come out and say it. And since I'm a part of the media now, and I try not to be like everyone else, uh, I try to, you know, report and talk with facts and, and, and honesty. And I clearly have to say last night, uh, without knowing all the facts, I spoke on Ime Udoka's defense. And after finding out the facts after I spoke, I erased what I posted because this situation in Boston is deep, it's messy, it's a hundred times uglier than any of us thought, and that's why I erased what I said. Uh, some things happened that I can't condone, I can't back, and it's not my place to tell you what happened. If it ends up coming out, it ends up coming out, but that was the reason why I erased my post last night because after I posted it. I got a call from someone who had all the details and this shit is deep. So, man, praying for everybody involved. Um, you know, hope everyone gets through this. And I saw a lot of blogs picked up what I said, even though it was only on my page for like two minutes. So hopefully they pick this up too um, for me being wrong and, and jumping out there without the facts. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. God bless. And I hope everyone has a good weekend. So last night, all right, so the first thing that I want to say is shout out to him for being able to be that person who is able to retract that statement, knowing what that statement was, right? Knowing that there is more behind it. Now, I, 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 amongst the comments there in that particular post, a lot of people are saying that they believe that um, allegedly maybe there is way, way, way more to the story that we don't know. Um, I mean, y'all gotta go check out those comments for yourself. Like, the comments are pretty, you know. I mean, listen, again, I don't want to condone anyone doing, anyone cheating, anyone, any anything that he's doing and that he has going on. I really pray, again, that he understands that he has a family that he's taken through the ringer with. And I'm just praying that he gets the help that he needs and, and, and Nia and the sun is okay as well. You know what I mean? Like, I just pray that everybody's okay. So listen, drop down in the comment section. Y'all, listen. Let me know what y'all think about this because this is a lot. 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 All right, Dom Doms, I really appreciate you all so much. I really, really hope that you have a great and fantastic weekend. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Please, please, please make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. 
Join my Patreon. It is only $3 to join Patreon. Only $3. Make sure you're following me on all social media platforms. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can be a cash app at Chef Don Don 2 or be a Venmo at Chef Don Don 2 as well. Listen, y'all, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Don Don. That's fun. I appreciate y'all and I love you.